this is my review on, uh, let's see, what, 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 what I have left. Uh, for the Vinyl uh, of Batman, they only have Age of Ultron and, uh, Civil War. I mean, not doing Iron Man 2, uh, because that's actually a good movie, so I'm not putting that on the, uh, to-do list that, uh, Mom was like, hey, because that's the that's one I like. Because the colors, right? And, uh, so I just have to do plot. And, uh, yeah, so, um, so for the bad mom, I only have two more to do, so I'm going to do them in this video. Yay. Okay, this is my review on Avengers Age of Ultron and uh, Captain America Civil War, which is also, sh which actually, sh in hindsight, really should be called Avengers Civil War because... It's an untitled Avenger movie, much like Thor Ragnarok and Captain America Winter Soldier and Iron Man 2, and also Ami and the Wasp. Ami and the Wasp. Wasp. Yes. Those untitled Avenger movies, they feel like a. Because this is totally they feel like an Avenger movie, you know? And also, yeah, so. Yeah, so, um, these movies sucks. All these untitled, unofficial title Avengers movies suck. Because they're all 10, and also the two I'm reviewing suck. I guess they're all 10. And uh, why? Because, well, the color is fucked on screen, and therefore it doesn't look like a finished product. The plot is too fucking convoluted. And it doesn't have the runtime to back it up to make it feel like a smooth, coherent narrative plot. Both films for Avengers Age of Ultron and Captain America Civil War. The plot is so much plot in these both films. And, uh, uh, too much plot is crammed again in these runtimes. Uh, that's way too short. I mean, they don't, I mean, they're like at least two, a little over two hours, but, uh, they're too fucking short for these legs and because for such a complicated, convoluted, and complicated plot that they were going for, uh, Age of all trying to end the Civil War. Therefore, the characters don't really feel fully fleshed out, you definitely don't give really hoots out about any of them, uh, or maybe that's just the color. Again, or and also the acting can be kind of stiff at times, and like these, like they all zone out on some kind of mess or something. Is how they portray the roles a lot of them, and uh, so both movies of Age of Ult for both movies Age of Ultron and Captain America Civil War, and uh, yeah, so that's. Look, I and also look, uh, Captain America is a, is a war, it's a, it's just for, for, to, to, for the, for the, uh, film, uh, for film, the same reason why Iron Man was a filler for the Avengers, except for Captain America is, there, is a filler for Homecoming, Spider-Man Homecoming, the Spider-Man's big comeback, since those amazing Spider-Man movies got made, and, uh, Sally look like finished films compared to Homecoming. Uh, so, yeah, and, uh, well, because they look finished, because they were finished on, like, Homecoming was. You know, or Far From Home, so. And, uh, probably even, the, so, like, the third one, where Thomas is going to suffer the same fate, no doubt about that. And also, Chung Lee and Legend of the Rings and Black Widow, myself, with this, no doubt is going to suffer the same fate. And many, many more Marvel movies to come. Blah blah blah. So that's why I'm just, I'm just giving these two. Uh, and uh, Avengers: Age of Ultron is a uh, film for Captain America: The Winter Soldier. Like how Iron Man Two was a a, a a film for Thor, and how Thor was a film for Captain America: The First Avenger, and Captain America was a film for the Avengers. Yeah, uh, there's all the movies lead up to is fill after filler. 
The only one that's not a filler is Avengers Endgame. And that's basically an epilogue of the entire MCU that they're now calling the Infinity Saga. I don't, I'm stumped why. I don't know why. They claim that they had this all planned out since day one, but it doesn't really feel like it in hindsight, you know? So, yeah, that's why these two movies are fucking horse shit. These movies are fucking terrible. Sure, the score is nice for, the, and for Age of Ultron and Captain America Civil War. Uh, Age of Ultron, and Avengers Age of Ultron and, uh, and Captain America Civil War has really nice, awesome soundtracks. But honestly, I respect being you just buy the soundtracks to all of these Marvel movies, that piece of shit. Except for Iron Man 2. Still get the soundtrack, but get the movie also. Uh, but for the, but the, for the rest, skip getting the movies, so I skip seeing them, and just get the soundtrack to each Marvel movie, and the, uh, and that's usually the main Marvel Cinematic Universe continuity timeline. The sacred timeline. That's made by Marvel Studios. So, uh, because majority of these films this uh, look unfinished and feel unfinished because they look unfinished. Like the effects, everything, everything doesn't look polished. It looks like it only polished these movies. Majority of the movie, all except for Iron Man 2, because the color is fucked as fucked. It's fucked as fucked. Blah, blah, blah. But Avengers Age of Ultron gets a 0 out of 10. And so does Cat Maker Civil War. Gets a 0 out of 10. Well, came by.